Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video from our stock scanner membership area for potential fifth wave trades on the Elliott Wave sequence, which is the highest probability move in a trend, whether it's long or short. I just want to go through our members area very briefly, uh, just to show you how our members get these spreadsheets every single day. So down on the right here, we've got potential long, short, fifth wave trades. And these are on the weekly, the daily and the 60 minute time frame. And also stochastic short longs and shorts uh, on intraday. I'm going to concentrate on the long trades today. In our members area, when we go to long trades, you can see uh, every single day there. We, it's a good way of building that watch list as well with these signals. So click on the image, download the spreadsheet. Today's spreadsheet looks something like this. Now I've gone for a longer term example today. So I'm looking at the weekly time frame and a potential long on the weekly time frame here. So this is an investment and this could be, uh, you know, this is a swing uh, and it will be, you know, anything from three to six months, this sort of move. So let's have a look at the chart. So I've chosen HRS on the weekly time frame. So we've got to go back to uh, 2014 in October there for these lows here. Uh, this is the Elliott Wave indicator suite for from Wave 5 Trade for the Ninja Trader NT8 platform, also available for multi charts, Trade Station, and Think or Swim. So I've isolated our wave count at these lows back in October 2014. As you can see, our Elliott Wave then indicates these ABC corrections, and then we start off in the trend. We've had a one, a two, we've had a really long wave three, denoted really as well by our false breakout stochastic dots at the bottom here, showing a really strong bullish move. And this is what we're interested in right now on the weekly time frame. this pullback against that strong move. And we measure that to find some really good investing and trading opportunities on all time frames. But this is the weekly for HRS, so let's set this up. So first of all, those measurements form part of our stock scanner membership. Some basic filters to get that information to our members there. So the first one is the wave four pullback. So that's pulled back uh, into one of our probability zones. In this case, it's pulled back into the green zones, found support over these last few weeks, and then started to move away. So this green zone represents an 85% probability. It's gonna go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zones up here, around about $180, this blue zone here. And again, that's automatic from our software. And then another filter is the 535 oscillator down here. This is the top of the two subcharts, and that's pulled back on the wave four between 90 and 140%. So really, really looking good. And then the stochastic has pulled back against these false breakout dots crossed over in the oversold zone and the likelihood is it wants to return to that really strong bullish trend. So those are those three main filters that we use in our stock scan of the membership, um, which pulls the, the data from, um, you know, from our indicator suite. So let's go ahead and look how he set this up. So the first instance when we're looking to set these trades up is the 6-4 moving average high. This is our 6-4 um, moving average high in green here on the weekly time frame here. Now this is the first instance where we look for a an entry, but also we have to look at recent price action. And in these, these weeks here we pulled down, we tried to move up in this week and then we started to sell off and we had two big weeks selling off here. So we've got to be above that high. So 156.30 is way outside the 6-4 moving average high and above this high. So it's a conservative entry, but we just want to make sure that momentum is building and we are going to go through this previous rejection point. So 156.30 is the entry long. The stop loss is below the wave four. So you're about 141.91, something like that on the stop loss. And then the target's $180 into our target zone there. So as you can see, the risk to reward for this particular uh, longer term investment is um, 1 to 1.6 and I mean longer term I mean this is uh, in, in a swing trading perspective this could be on for three to six months now don't get me wrong it could it could hit there in six weeks if the momentum starts to build but if you're uh, looking at this um, over a period of time especially in these volatile markets with Trump tweets and volatility and um, 
tariffs and Putin and all that sort of stuff, they take a little bit longer. So be prepared to hold this for around three to six months. Okay, so that's it. Um, HRS on the weekly time frame. Another example of using our Elliott Wave Indicator Street from wave5trade.com and combining that with our stocks signal service um, in our membership area there. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day, a great weekend, and I'll speak to you all on Monday.